Hello, today I'll try to fix something in my Panasonic VCR. Uh, this VCR, I got it in uh, 2012 and uh, well, since I have it, I noticed a little problem. Like uh, when I load a cassette, the cassette doesn't uh, go down uh, completely, like uh, it, it's not uh, going down uh, completely. So, uh, and this um, causes some uh, little problems, but uh, it works anyway, but uh, it uh, has some problems. So uh, I have uh, showed uh, this VCR in another in an other video. Uh, this Panasonic, uh, the model PV V four six six zero K, and uh, it was made in uh, two thousand. So uh, you'll see when I insert a tape. Like uh, the tape, it doesn't uh, go down. You see, it is like uh, loose. And I noticed that that uh, when I put it in a rewind or fast forward position, like uh, it goes down more. So now it is uh, checking the position of the tape, but you will see when it will uh, go on the fast forward, the pos the mechanism, the position of the mechanism. It went down a little bit, and if I stop. It kind of uh, raises of a, a, a just a little bit, so I don't know why it does that. But uh, like the way the mechanism is made, uh, like I don't know uh, how it does this. But you will see now. I will press rewind. I don't know if you could uh, see it on. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, yeah, it, it kind of moves a little bit. It rewinds uh, pretty fast, and so this problem with the cassette, it uh, sometimes it causes some uh, playing problems, like uh, the the tape spills here. And uh, so uh, I was thinking I might be able to fix it, like uh, by shifting uh, this uh, metal uh, bar here uh, related to this gear here. So you see. Here, the, this is the gear that uh, uh, that drives the ejecting mechanism. So, uh, if I shift the the metal uh, gear uh, uh, and this one, like maybe I will be able to uh, that the tape will uh, go down completely. So, uh, this is what I am at, uh, going to try uh, to do. So, uh, uh, the first thing I will like uh, remove the cassette carriage part. So, uh, I will uh, have access to. I will maybe uh, be able to take apart this. I succeeded to remove the cassette carriage. So uh, this is the cassette carriage, and uh, I had to uh, detach a spring here, and uh, it was attached to this part here uh, that will uh, pull the cassette carriage. And uh, so I will show you uh, the uh, the way the the motor the the gears are made. Like uh, this worm gear is is uh, made so that uh, you can uh, turn it in the other sense too. So if I give the movement uh, like on this side uh, this way. Uh, it will uh, it will turn too. So uh, you see, it is the mode switch behind that uh, activates the mechanism. So if I push this, it's this uh, that activates the mechanism. So uh, this is pretty interesting because uh, you see, uh, we can see the mechanism turning uh, without the cassette. I don't know why it uh, reactivates, uh. but uh, you see, you can see the the cam gear under. You can also see the sliding plate. So now I'll try to uh, to um, uh, move this part. Uh. So now, after minutes of experimenting and uh, looking how this is made, um, I shifted the gear related to the metal part. And uh, well, now when I insert the cassette, the cassette goes down more, but uh, the mechanism is not made for working uh, like this, in that in that position. So uh, 
the motor when it loads uh, it forces more it, uh, we can hear it uh, we can see it has a hard time uh, turning the mechanism so uh, you will see uh, so uh, we can see that uh, we can, and we can see and hear that uh, it is turning more slowly and uh, it is forcing more but the cassette is not loose anymore you see it is uh, totally completely uh, inserted now it's like uh, turning better but now uh, because the mechanism uh, the this part is more advanced uh, um, the cassette is not ejecting uh, completely you, it is not ejected uh, completely so yeah so it cannot work uh, correctly like this so uh, i assume the problem is uh, somewhere else like uh, in the spring in this part so uh, like there's like a spring here that uh, that uh, pushes down the that pushes down the carriage so maybe it's uh, the problem is here i'll see now i have reassembled the vcr like it was and uh, well there is nothing i can do uh, so maybe it's a manufacturing defect uh, i don't know if uh, this vcr has uh, always been uh, like this or like with uh, this uh, this defect you see uh, i cannot do anything and so what, when it plays uh, sometimes it sometimes it uh, the tape uh, spills here and it will uh, not eat the tape but it will uh, stop playing in the but at, at least I can uh, fast forward rewind and uh, I can eject the cassette uh, with no problem if I lift the tape uh, just a little bit it does this and uh, yeah, this is what it uh, sometimes does uh, mostly when it is at the end of the tape now uh, let's try to rewind the uh, And yeah, this VCR I have uh, replaced the uh, the belt with a rubber band because it wouldn't uh, because it wouldn't uh, uh, rewind to the beginning. So it is a rubber band that is uh, under, and uh, it uh, does the job. You see, it's working well. So uh, you can actually uh, replace belts with a uh, rubber band. Maybe they will not be as durable. Maybe they will break. Uh, so uh, at one time, maybe someday they will break. But uh, at least it can uh, it can work. But you see, it slows down. I don't know if it is uh, due to the to the rubber rubber band. But uh, with the other, the original belt, it will uh, stop uh, rewinding before the beginning. It will not uh, rewind to the beginning. Now it's slightly so. Now it is uh, slightly slower, but it works fine. It rewinds uh, to the beginning. You see, no problem.